Hi there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Office Apps and Services MVP. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the SharePoint migration tool just to move files between teams in the same tenant or even teams on different tenants. So let's start. First of all, let me describe the scenario I have here. What I want to do is just to migrate contents that are available in the Adoption Resources channel in this team, get CS Week. And indeed, what I want to do is just to migrate the files that are in the PPTs folder. I want to migrate those files to another team in the same tenant. Um, the same idea is going to work also for a scenario where you want to migrate files between teams on different tenants. So as I say, I want to migrate um, the files to this uh, channel, demo2, and if I go to files, I want to migrate to this folder, SPMT test2, the files because I'm going to use the SharePoint migration tool to migrate the files. But first of all, uh, you need to, to do a workaround because as you know, the SharePoint migration tool does not allow to migrate between SharePoint online sites. What means it doesn't allow to migrate files between teams in Microsoft Teams. First of all, what I have done is just to sync this channel with my local PC using the One Day for Business sync layer. So if I go to the Windows Explorer, as you can see here, I have Contoso. This is my organization, and I have the Adoption Resources channel synchronized to my PC. And indeed, I have the PPTs folder, and all the files are actually in the cloud. So they are not uh, physically synchronized to my PC. So I can see the files, but they are not uh, occupying any space in my PC. So how do I migrate? I, may, I migrate files. Uh, from this team to the, to the other team using the SharePoint migration tool. Okay, let's find, let's find how. I'm going to start the SharePoint migration tool. And first thing uh, the SharePoint migration tool is going to ask me is just uh, the credentials to work with SharePoint Online in this particular tenant. So this is the user I'm going to use. This is Alan DeJong. And I have to click on Nest and then provide or type the credentials for Alan. Here we are. Once I'm uh, logged in the tool, what I'm going to see is just my previous migrations. So over here, by clicking on the show save migrations, I can check my previous migration or I can just start a new migration. This is what I'm going to do. Then uh, what I have to do is to select what's the source of the content I want to migrate. And in this case, since I'm migrating uh, from a, a team, from an existing team to another team, I'm going to choose file share. Because yes, this is the workaround. I synchronize it back the files using the OneDrive for Business Sync client, so I can see actually the folder I want to migrate in my local PC in the Windows Explorer. And the same uh, happens when using the SharePoint migration tool. So I had to click on Contoso, and then I had to click on the channel I want to migrate, and then the specific folder whose contents I want to make it, PPTs folder. So let's click on OK and then click on Next. Next thing is just to indicate uh, the destination. In this case, it's Microsoft Teams. And I'm going to look for this particular team, get this Latam. Here we are. And now what I can do is just choose the channel uh, where I want to make the files. And within the channel, I can also select yeah, a folder I have there. So this is what I want to do. I'm going to select the demo to uh, channel and then the SPMT test to folder and then click on next. Since I'm ready, I don't want to migrate uh, other sources to other destinations. I can click on next and then uh, before just starting the migration, what I can do is just to review the migration settings. Basically, I'm fine with the default settings. So for instance, I can preserve file preserve permissions if I want. I can do some user mapping if it's required, so and so on and so forth. But as I say, with the default migration options, I'm fine. So let's click on cancel and then let's click on migrate. And what is going to happen is that the SharePoint migration tool basically is just going to force the files to be synchronized to my PC. So uh, the tool can migrate the files to the destination site. This will be happening just now. Yeah, it's saying 1%. So at some point, we should uh, see the status 
uh, different to knockout, but uh, the files are actually just as yeah, that's the thing, are synchronized back in my PC. So the I have the files in my PC, and now the tool is doing all the work uh, she's supposed to do. So it's copying the files to this specific uh, team. And indeed, we can start checking that this is happening. I can go to the demo to channel and then click on files and click on this folder. And I should start seeing at some point uh, the PPTs folder. It's, it's not happening yet. Uh, let me check because I think, yeah, it should be get the Slatan. Let's again click on files. This is from the previous migration test. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but the file should be over here. Uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, it's saying, uh, obviously, this is not correct because, yes, I'm doing that same test over and over. And again, uh, as expected, uh, here we have the files uh, just copied by the support migration tool that indeed I think is almost done. And one important thing you may be asking yourself is if the support migration tool is just copying the versions of the file. The short answer is unfortunately no. So it's just copied the files with the last version we have. So it's not taking into account that maybe I could have um, versions on the, at the source on those files. It's just copying the last version of the files. It's a pity. Because, yeah, it could be perfect if also the versions uh, will be copied, but they are not copied. And as you can see, yes, the process has, all, uh, has already finished. Um, I, of course, I can save the migration, so uh, the migration so I have in my migration history. But uh, the job is done. So, yeah, it's a pity we don't have the versions of the files. And I can uh, just demonstrate you this by clicking on uh, one specific file I know uh, has some versions, so it's this file, sorry for the name of the file in Spanish. But if you select the file, um, click on the three dots and then on version history, we are only going to see one version. However, if we go to the, the source file and we select the file, if you click on the three dots and I click on version history, you are going to see that I have three versions. So at least uh, I will expect that this version should be copied because actually this version was generated because I did a change in the file. I wouldn't expect, uh, expect these versions to be copied because they refer to metadata, particularly the version 2. But yeah, again, uh, it's a nice workaround to move a lot, a lot of files from an existing team to another team, but it's not the solution if you want to move the files and also the files versions. Uh, yeah, and that's all from my side. I hope you have found this video useful. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.